Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and I'm back in my 1.81 world because I want to show you guys a new mod that I'm just starting to check out. Uh, it's probably one that a lot of you have checked out already and it's one that a lot of people have requested. So today I'm doing the Buildcraft Industrial Craft crossover mod. This mod is currently version 0.75, it's in beta. Um, it does work with the latest version of Industrial Craft, which is 1.337b, the bug fix release. Um, and it basically allows you to create some engines for Buildcraft that run off of um, Industrial Craft electricity. It also lets you create a uh, generator that runs off Buildcraft fuel and oil. And finally, it gives you a block that allows you to materialize oil, and I'll show you how that works in just a few minutes. So why don't we get started here and check out this mod and all the cool things it has to offer for those of you who are big fans of Buildcraft and Industrial Craft and want a way to convert energy between the two. Alright guys, the first engine I'm going to show you is the most basic engine. It's a steam engine on top of a generator with a nice one little piece of tin on top and that gives you the small electric engine. Now the small electric engine for all intents and purposes is the same as a steam engine which is why it uses a steam engine for its recipe. Um, it cools in the same manner that a steam engine does. That is if it's using all the energy that it produces it'll be alright but if it's got a surplus of energy building up it will explode. So let's go test it out real quick. So I've set up a quick little test system. Now the first engines I'm going to show you are converting industrial craft energy in an MFSU for example or from your solar panels or whatever into build craft energy and the steam engine requires that this guy get connected to low voltage current so you can see I have an MFSU here with just a surplus of energy and it's going through an MV transformer and a low voltage transformer and I'm just gonna plug it in right here ta-da so there's your small electric steam engine and you'll see it's got enough juice here to be running and it also has a battery slot so you can use batteries in these guys which is pretty cool and if you check this out, it's just running over to a simple little uh, oil refinery here. That's a nice way to test to see how much energy we're producing. So let's kick this guy on. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's running, but it actually is. It's just that steam engines barely produce enough energy to run a refinery. And if we check it out, we are getting a small amount of oil running through this pipe. Extremely small amount. Look at that. Barely, barely even worth noting. But a refinery is a more advanced built craft machine, and I chose that for a reason, because we want to see the progression of energy production um, across these different engines. So this is your basically equivalent to your steam engine. So let's go check out the next version. Next up we have the medium electric engine, and as you can see, you need another generator sitting down here, a combustion engine on top of it, and a bronze uh, ingot here. So there you go. This guy also requires low voltage, any higher, and he's going to blow up, just like a regular old Billcraft machine. And look at me making a mess. So let's lay this guy down, and you can see again, he's got an interface here, where he just charged up his internal storage of energy from Industrial Craft, and he's also got a slot here. So let's check this guy out. If we go ahead and grab ourselves some water, which we're going to need to keep this guy cool, you can see it fills up. So just like a combustion engine, you're going to need to supply some water to your medium electric engine here to keep them cooled off. Um, it's not a ridiculous amount of coolant that it needs, but it does need some to keep the thing cool. Let's flip it on and see how it works. Oh, look at that, much better. It's producing a good amount of energy, and you can see this guy's actually running now. It's not stopping and running in small spurts and it's producing um, its fuel, but it's obviously not running at full capacity because as you know if you've watched my Buildcraft tutorials, um, when this guy's moving with blue bars, it means it's doing all right, but not too great. You really want to get it up to the green stage to be fully capable um, and running. So we're gonna definitely need a bit more powerful engine to run our refinery. So let's go ahead and move on to the next engine to check out. And here we go, the large electric engine. Now this guy needs an advanced machine block, couple electronic circuits, a generator, and a combustion engine, so we're definitely getting a little bit more advanced here and, uh, you know, higher requirements for uh, ingredients. Now the cool thing about the large electric engine is it accepts up to medium voltage, so we can go ahead and take our wrench here and just knock this little guy off. We do not need to connect this to low voltage, it'll accept up to medium voltage. Hooray! Why don't I build a little piping system here to make this run. All right, so we've got a medium voltage current here. We can go ahead and hook this guy up, like so. And 
why don't we flip the lever and see what happens. But first, you should note that, again, we've got this little interface here, and we're going to need some water to keep it cool. Now, this guy does require a little bit more coolant than the medium electric engine, um, but you'll be pretty good. Go ahead and just play with it a little bit, and you'll get a feel for how much coolant it needs. But you definitely want to keep this guy cool, because he's producing even more energy. Look at that. Holy cow. It's all the way up to the green stage. So this is a very powerful engine. And if we got out our EU reader here, we'd go ahead and see that this guy is currently draining 64 energy units per tick. Not too shabby. So, you know, give or take 64. You know how EU readers work. Let's flip this guy off. And just for the sake of uh, checking things out, why don't we flip this guy on and see how much energy this is running. Uh, so it looks like that's using about 12 or 13 energy units per tick. So that's not too bad. And remember that small electric engine? Well, I forgot to check our EU readings, but it's currently running, it looks like, mm, two and a half energy units per tick. Yeah, pretty stable at two and a half. So that's how the small electric engine runs. Um, so you can see we go from, uh, you know, two all the way up to 64 if we're running this guy. Not bad at all. So there's one more engine available, the industrial electric engine. Look at the recipe for this guy. Three combustion engines, an advanced machine block, two advanced circuits, two generators, and an MFSU. Holy cow, that is expensive. But let's plug it in and check it out. Uh, this guy is an extremely powerful engine. Um, you're going to need to cool this guy a lot. Uh, according to the posting on the forum, it says you need to have a fully powered, dedicated pump connected via gold waterproof pipe to keep this thing cool. So pretty much have a dedicated pump for this. And you can see he's starting to fill up here, but he's not really filling up a ton of energy. That's because this guy can actually accept up to high voltage. Um, so why don't I get this medium voltage thing off of here real quick and just connect our wiring straight through. So we're draining up to 512 energy units per tick here to keep this guy powered up, and you can see he's filling up his internal buffer. This is basically the advanced machine version of a Beltcraft engine. Uh, you're definitely going to want some water in here, so why don't I grab a few buckets of that. That should be good for this quick tutorial. And I'm going to flip the lever. Now obviously it's going to be more than enough energy to power this thing. Um, I'm not even sure what I can do to demonstrate how much energy this is producing. Uh, but keep in mind that Buildcraft Energy loses efficiency over a long wire. Uh, you could probably use this machine to power quite a few Buildcraft machines at once. Let's flip them on, and holy cow, look at that thing running. Um, now, it's obviously not producing heat too quickly, so it's not going to start using the water just yet. But keep in mind that once it does start producing heat, it's going to produce a lot. And if we check the current on this guy again, we see he's currently using 256 energy units per tick. So it's uh, 256 to keep it running. So that's not too too bad. Yeah, give or take 256. So a good amount of energy required to have this guy running, but hey, that's pretty cool. Now you guys are sitting there saying, all right, Direwolf, I see how we can convert industrial craft energy to build craft, but how do we do it the other way? I've got this oil and fuel and all this other stuff laying around. I really want to produce some uh, industrial craft energy from it. Well, not a problem if you build the petrochemical generator. Um, you've got two tanks, two pieces of rubber, some treetops, and a generator. Let's build it real quick and check it out. So first off, I'll show you that if you connect a combustion engine with some build craft piping here for electrical pipe transmission uh, and turn it on, you'll see that the energy from the engine does flow into this machine. And it builds up the internal storage generator, which is pretty neat. So this is your petrochemical generator, and it's producing energy for us pretty darn spiffy. And why don't I get myself some energy here, some glass fiber cables to transmit this energy. Why don't I just turn this off for a moment and I'm going to run these cables down. Now I've already gone ahead and, you know, drained my MFSU here of power. I'm going to hook this guy up and you'll see him filling up. Let's grab our EU reader for a moment real quick and see how much energy is being produced. 25 energy units per tick. Not bad at all. And you can see it's draining that internal buffer of energy. So that's pretty neat. And if we went ahead and flicked this guy back on, you'd see he's quickly draining the energy out as soon as it's being produced, now that we've got the cables hooked up to it. And if we check it now, we'll see we're hovering around mm, 
12, 12 and a half energy units per tick. So it looks like you're probably going to want to have two steam uh, combustion engines here running into one petrochemical generator in order to get it to the point where it can produce as much energy um, as it can. Because remember, it looks like it's doing about 12 and a half per engine, and it did about 25 when it had a backlog of energy in there. So that's pretty neat. So our surplus of energy here has drained. Why don't I show you that you can also put some fuel or oil in here. I'll go with a fuel bucket and kick it on. And you'll see it fills up this fuel reservoir and starts producing energy. So you can also pump in your fuel or oil and check our EU reader here. And we're producing, oh, it looks like we're up to about 23, 24 energy units per tick if we're running off of fuel. So if you want, you can just pump it directly in here using built craft pipes. And a pretty nice feature is that if you want to temporarily turn this off, simply apply a redstone current, and it shuts off. Hooray! So, that's the petrochemical generator. And I'm guessing it produces more and less energy based on what type of fuel you put in there. Let's confirm that. So I've gone ahead and knocked the thing off and placed it down again to clear out the internal reservoir, and I'm just going to place an oil bucket in there. Hooray! Let's grab our handy EU reader and allow the machine to run again. Yep, producing about 8 energy units per tick. So, just like with Buildcraft, you're producing significantly less energy if you're running off of oil as opposed to fuel. I did mention a machine that creates oil, didn't I? Yeah, there is one of those, isn't there? This is the oil materializer machine. I uh, just need some tanks, some rubber, a pump, some machine block, and uh, two tree taps. And you've got the oil materializer. Now it's got a temporary um, texture where it only shows as a build craft machine, but that's all right, it's just temporary. Why don't we place it down here? Cool, it's got a neat little interface. All right, let's see how this machine works, shall we? First off, you're gonna wanna hook up a wooden waterproof pipe and connect it to a tank with a redstone engine underneath because you're gonna need to pump the oil out of the machine. So how does the machine run, you ask? Well, it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and it's rather ingenious, if I do say so myself, uh, considering I'm spotlighting this mod. Simply place some UU matter in the machine. That's right, this machine runs off UU matter. And as you can see, it's got a little progress bar where it's generating some oil for us. And uh, quite a good amount of oil, as a matter of fact, it would appear. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and convert one piece of UU matter to a good amount of oil. Um, maybe I should just run one UU matter in there and let it go all the way through. And I might even need another tank here, so why don't I grab myself one or two more of those and add it onto this guy. Perfect. So let's see. Looks like it's almost finishing up with the uh, UU matter conversion from the one piece I placed in there just a moment ago. Yep, all done. And now the reservoir of oil that built up in here is starting to be drained out by my redstone engine. So let's wait for that to drain and see how much oil we get. Now you might have said to yourself it looked like it was producing oil faster than it could pump out, but keep in mind that the redstone engine down here is at a blue state. Once it works up to the red or orange state, I'm sure it would pump out much faster than it produces. So it looks like the last bit of oil is just getting pumped out of here, and it's heading into our tank, and we can see we got a little bit more than a full tank's worth of oil. That's actually a good amount of oil. Uh, you get about a tank and a quarter per UU matter, and considering how much uh, energy it's required to make UU matter, uh, that's not too bad. So that is the oil materializer. So again, this has been the Buildcraft Industrial Craft crossover mod. Uh, it's got some pretty neat functions. It allows you to uh, create industrial craft energy using build craft energy, and it allows you to create build craft energy using industrial craft energy. It's a way of crossing over the mods, which makes the name pretty common sense like. Uh, the petrol generator here that produces oil for you is pretty spiffy. Uh, according to the mod creator, the amount of oil you produce is in line with the amount of uranium that you get when you convert um, oil and uranium, or UU matter and uranium. So that's pretty cool. And again, I hope you guys have enjoyed checking out this mod spotlight. I'll post a link as usual to the download area uh, in the description of this video and you can go check it out. It's available on the Industrial Craft 2 forums. So this is Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy.